Hi students, this is Priyanshu and welcome to the, our exercise 1.4 of Telangana State Board Class 6 students and in the previous video we already see the exercise 1.3 solution okay so in this video i'm gonna solve this exercise 1.4 and if you give your 15 minutes to me i will make this exercise very easy to you and i hope in the end of this video you don't have a single doubt in this exercise okay so let's just start this exercise here so the first question is it write the number using common uh, commas according to international systems of numbers okay so here in this first question you have to write this num uh, we have to put commas in this numbers like in indian number system we put our every digits after three digits uh, we will put comma then two digits then two digits and etc okay but in the international number systems we will put comma in every three digits in every three digits we will put commas in this one how actually you know if you uh, if you understand in, in international number systems uh, starting from the ones tens and hundred then it's go uh, then it's go thousand then ten thousand then hundred hundred ten hundred thousands okay so like that the international number systems go okay so that's why in in the international number systems every digit contains three three and three three because one stands hundred then thousand ten thousand and hundred thousand then it's talk about million then it's a million then it is a ten million then it is a hundred million so that's why it's contained three three so in uh, international numbers we put commas after every three digits of the number okay so let's see here so if i solve the the first question uh, so let's uh, write this write the numbers commas according to national number systems okay right so the first we have to write the nine seven six four and five three one and five in this one we have to put the comma so actually i generally use the black uh, here so the first three digits then after one this is after three so this is a putting the commas in this one okay it is a clear i hope it is clear to you okay so let me take it okay right so let's see the question number two in question number two if you see here we have to write the 200 then 40 this is 48 4 2 1 so here we have to put comma in after three digits then here it is three digits then here we have to put comma okay so in question number here if you see so here it is given four seven six three five and six so here we have to put comma after three digits then here three digits so don't put comma here because uh, you know this is a last number so that's why you don't have to put the commas in the last one so it is totally here so don't uh, actually here i written the niche uh, in downwards i just mark it this one so you don't have to mark such for the explaining purpose i am marking that okay uh, so right next question you can see easily here this is a question it is given nine four nine zero zero two six and that's eight three and four in this one we have to use so after three digits one comma three digits one comma after three digits one comma okay so this is the our answer which i already see so as you can see this is your answer of first questions okay so i hope you don't have any kinds of doubt regarding to this one and uh, if you have any doubt you can just give a message uh, leave a comment and if you're looking for the uh, all subjects exercise uh, solution so in description there's a link you can check it out here okay so if you read the our second question so the second question is telling collect the mobile numbers of your friend and other family members write them using com, uh, comma and read them in, in international systems okay so let me uh, it is telling about to collect the phone numbers but uh, let's uh, write this one so actually uh, here i'm not giving any phone numbers but generally i will write the some uh, numbers exactly 10 digits number in our india so it is like uh, eight six uh, five four three two zero one okay this is three three six seven eight and this is zero two okay let's suppose this is a uh, one number and uh, let's take second one has like uh, uh, nine six eight four three two okay this is three okay this is three two zero four six two four six two eight and that's the zero okay so this is a two numbers take another number like 
uh, 9390262540 okay 246289 and that's okay so actually this three numbers i written here okay so in this one in this number we have to put comma so every three digits we have to put comma every three digits we have to put comma every three digits we have to put comma then this one three comma three comma three comma in international system every three digits every three three digits we have to put comma in indian number system first we have to put the comma in three digits then two digits then two digits then two 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 only but international system every three digits after the we have to put comma in india we have to first put the three digits then two two digits remember this okay so uh, is it clear to you now let's see this one actually here three digits three digits and three digits so i hope it is a clear so let me erase this one okay so i hope it is clear and when it's chance to read when we talk about reading this so let's read this so this is our uh, actually here it is a one tens hundred thousand ten thousand this is a, um, a million this is a uh, actually here it is not million this is one tens hundred thousand ten thousand hundred thousand million ten million hundred million this is a billion so here it is a eight billion six six hundred fifty four million Three. This is a three hundred twenty thousand. Uh, twenty thousand, uh, and here it is a one hundred two. So we can read like that. So if you read uh, this one, so this is going to be nine. Uh, this is nine billion six hundred eighty four million three hundred twenty thousand four hundred sixty. This is a way of reading this. Okay. So now if you read this one, this is a nine. This is a nine billion. Three hundred ninety million two hundred sixty-five thousand and four hundred. So we can read like that. Actually, in a number systems, in international number system, after the thousand, it's called thousand. Then it is called ten thousand. Then it's called hundred thousands. In million also, this is a million. This ten million. Then this is a. Uh, 100 million then it's called 100 million okay like that we will read okay after that uh, if it is uh, clear to you now let's see this one so the third question is telling here write the numbers involved in both indian and international systems okay so here we have to write this numbers in india and international number systems okay dear so first we have to write in india number systems then we will write in the international number systems so uh, generally i will consider here indian number systems okay so first i will write in indian okay then indian i will write both i will write in indian first of all okay okay so write this number systems in indian for writing this number system in indian we have to uh, putting the comma in every first three digits then after two digits then two digits then two digits this is our indian number system first we have to put the three digits comma then two digits two digits two digits and two two digits okay so how we will write this in our indian number systems let's see here okay so if i change the pen i will write in blue pen so it is telling that this is our thousand okay here if you see this is totally the uh, hundred this is thousand this is lakhs this is a uh, crore so it is a 12 crore okay so it is a, what it is it is a 12 crore so we will write t w e l v 12 crore c r o r e okay actually my handwriting is very bad in the tab so that's why the, and then after it is uh, 31 lakh so we have to write T H I R T Y thirty okay thirty one lakh uh, will I go in here okay I will write from here also uh, sometimes I write the lakh in L A uh, L A K H I will write but sometimes I write like that or you can write like that also both are right but it is depend on your choice you can write like that okay so I will write like that only L A K H okay okay this is a 31 lakh and 15,000 okay f i f t 15,000 okay 15,000 and 20 uh, 27 20 
7 over now we have to write this one this one uh, let's write this one then after we will write uh, in uh, international also first write this in indian so here we will write this is a 3 then after 2 then after 2 this is 1 so here we see this is a 100 this is a 1000 this is lakh this is crore so here it is 8 crore so we have to write 8 crore 8 crore 96 lakhs okay and i and t y 96 actually here it is a 9 okay 96 lakh 96 lakh okay this is a 43000 okay 43 43000 okay actually my handwriting is not good i think so actually you know what will happen with my handwriting I also don't know okay okay so this is a thousand and uh, then it is a 92 okay so it is still here it is okay now we have to write this in international number system okay so let's write in the international so here I will write international okay international okay i hope you will understand this okay now let's write the first one in, in international okay so the first in international when we are going to write in international we already know we have to take the pair of three and three and uh, this three pairs we have to take the three three pairs so here we will if you see here so it is going to be this is thousand uh, this is hundred this is thousand this is a million so here it is a 100 it is a 123 million so we have to write uh, okay i will take the another pen so this is a 100 this is a 123 23 23 million we have to write a million 23 million then after we have to write 100 this one we have to write 100 uh, 115,000 okay first we have to write this in the short form always whenever we write this one first of all we have to write if it is million then we have to write 123 then after we put the this like here I written 123 then after put million like that only I'm going to write this one so I will write 115 then I put the thousand and then we can directly we can write that okay so uh, like that here I can write this this is a 100 okay 100 100 and uh, this is a 15 115 uh, then after i will write thousand because it is in the thousand 115 thousand i will erase this one here okay okay so then after i will write 27 because here in one place there is nothing so i will write directly 27 27 okay so here we will see this is we written 123 then after written million here 103 then i have written 1023 okay uh, this is a 27 okay like that we have to write the international number system so let's see this one here also mm. so here it is a three three points considering this three points okay so here it is three okay and then it is so here it is given like 89 so we will write directly 89 million directly we will write 89 uh, million we will write so we will write e i z s t sorry 89 okay 89 89 million we will directly write 89 million then we will write 643 uh, 643 thousand then we have to write s i x 600 643 so here we will write 40 43 and uh, then we have to write 43 then we have to write 1000 43000 then i have to write 99 92 sorry it is 92 okay dear so here we have to generally we written billion and uh, then it is thousand then it is going to be over okay so i hope it is uh, clear to you and you can look at this here and uh, i know my handwriting is something bad 
but you can ma manage this okay because <laughs> you know this is a uh, something there is a lot of different between when we write in the uh, like uh, when we write in the tab or something so writing difference come differently but i hope you will understand this okay so the fourth question is read the number carefully and answer the following so we have to answer this carefully so it is already written in the our uh, you can say it isn't written in the international only because three and three so let's write this first one so actually this this is in the this one is this is in one's place this is into tens and uh, it is all in the it is in hundred okay this in this is in the thousand this is ten thousand and uh, it, this one is in the it is in the hundred thousand and you know this is in the million and this is in the 10 million and this is in the 100 million okay so i hope you will understand this one but actually i take a lot of space here okay so let me okay erase this one here to understand okay i hope understand you okay so i will erase this okay i hope for the understanding purpose it is clear now let's see the digit at million place so here which is numbered in the million place so here we are looking if you count like ones tens hundred thousand ten thousand hundred thousands this is a million so two is in the million place so we have to write the uh, okay we have to write the two here okay now the digits at the hundred place which is in the hundred place so if you count like the uh, okay i'm sorry okay if you count from here this is a uh, what we have to count we have to count the hundred place so here one stands hundred four is the hundred place so we have to write the four it is in the hundred place the digit in 10 million in the 10 million which digits are there in 10 million so let's consider this is a thousand uh, this is hundred thousand ten thousand hundred thousand this is a million this is a 10 million in 10 million which digits are there zero in the 10 million so we have to write zero and the fourth question is very easy how many millions are there in the number okay so if you count this number how many millions are there so if you count let, let me i count this one here this is a one stands hundred thousand ten thousand hundred thousand this is a million ten million hundred million how many millions are there here three hundred two millions are there how many millions are there in this one so if i write here in this one there is a 300 302 millions are there 302 millions or directly we can write 302 million okay uh, okay here we can write a million okay so we can write like that also 302 millions how many millions are in the numbers this is a 302 million so 3 no 302 millions are there okay otherwise you can write 302 millions also okay so dear students uh, your exercise 1.4 it is totally completed here only and uh, i hope i explain this exercise in very easy language and you will understand whatever in this exercise clearly actually i take a lot of time to explain but my aim is to explain each and every question in a simple language with a lot of example to understand the students because i know there is a lot of student uh, whose mathematics is totally weak for uh, so generally i upload mathematics video for that students only whose mathematics is totally weak and they didn't understand okay so i take a lot of time like one hour 20 minutes or 30 minutes i will take for explaining the exercise okay that's why i take a lot of time to explain the exercise because you know i teach the weak students in mathematics for the more better performance okay right i hope you will understand and i hope you will like this video and in the end of this video you don't have any doubt and apart from this if you have any doubt regarding to this exercise or any chapter of sixth class of mathematics then you can just give a comment to me and definitely i will make a video on this or i definitely i will solve your problem okay if you have any kinds of doubt and this one so i definitely solve your doubt and we will meet our next video with uh, our last exercise of mathematics exercise 1.5 in the next video so see you in the next video jai hind